in for a three in inverted shots where silver medalists from last Euro Croatia take on the bronze medalists Iceland. As expected, the match was a tense affair and just like in Austria two years ago, Iceland led almost the whole time by as much as three goals in the first half but only by one 15 to 14 at half time. In the second half, Iceland held the initiative, leading by one or two goals right until five minutes before the end, when Croatian goalkeeper Mirko Alilovic closed the shot. Croatia scored four goals on the run and won by two goals, 31 to 29. The key was that we believed all 60 minutes that we can come back and, and win at the end. We didn't play so good in defense. They scored almost 30 goals on us, but uh, fortunately for us, the, the attack was very good. So at the end it was one ball on this way or that way and uh, thank God for Mirko's two saves at the end uh, and two points are here. The matches between Iceland and Croatia are usually very tense and, and, and close but you usually win. Not every time but, <laughs> but it's good that we won today because it's the start of the tournament and uh, we needed two points for our confidence. I hope we're going to play <coughs> better against Slovenia than today. After leading for almost all the match and then losing like this, you must be quite disappointed. Yes, I am. Uh, because we played most of the match uh, very good. And uh, we're playing patiently and waiting for our chances. And, and, and uh, that's why it's uh, very disappointing not to have at least uh, one point after this match. But that's life, that's handball, and, and we have to uh, be prepared for the for next game against Norway. But these games between Croatia and Iceland are always very tense, and it's almost identical to the game in Austria two years ago. You were leading the whole match, and then you draw. Yeah, that's true, and, and that's, uh, that's also what, what makes it even more disappointing, if, is uh, that we have... We have done this thing before, and and but we have to also have to recognize that uh, Croatia have uh, one of the best uh, teams in the tournament. We're not one of the two or three best uh, teams. We are missing some uh, key players, but uh, nonetheless, we we played, in my opinion, a good match, and and uh, we can walk uh, proud away from from the game today. And and uh, we just have to keep our heads high and and prepare for the next game. It was a very tough uh, game against a very good team and uh, fortunately we lost. We knew that uh, how, how they played, you know, it doesn't matter if you're up uh, with five or six goals against uh, this team, they always come back and they fight always until the last minute and that's exactly what they did today. But it's got to hurt very much leading almost all the match and then losing. Yeah, of course, and we got the opportunities to, to uh, win this game in, uh, in the end, but uh, but uh, yeah, we, we played well in, uh, in the offense, uh, but uh, he was uh, saving very well also in the, the goalkeeper from Croatia, so unfortunately it, it went on their side. Yeah, it was pretty uh, disappointing uh, not getting at least one point after almost leading the whole game, but uh, that's handball, I think. Yeah. Two good teams, and uh, but this is not the end of the world. No, of course not. Uh, we have two more games in the in the group, and uh, now we just have to relax today and start thinking about Norway tomorrow. That's the next game. Like your English. Thanks. <laughs>